So now we are going to take a look at structs. And uh, we have a couple of data structures so far. Uh, we have a slice. And so we could have a slice of ints using composite literal. Whatever numbers we want. And uh, we have a map using a composite literal. And uh, that would be um, one colon James. He's actually 007. But I don't think the double O's come through. And then we have eight Jenny and you know whatever we want. Jack. And then we have to use variables. It's an error and go if you have a variable and you don't use it. And uh, there's my map, there's my slice, there's my slice, there's my map. So here's a new one, it's a struct. And struct comes from structure, data structure, as a composite structure, or aggregate structure. And uh, to create a struct, we're going to have like, you know, um, agents. And so A colon equal. And uh, I have to declare my struct. So it'll be type, type agents struct. And it's going to have fields. And so first will be a string. And last will be a string. And, um, and let's call this actually... Let's call this people, type person, type person, okay? First and last, an age, date of birth. And uh, we'll make that a string too. So there's my type person. And, you know, depending upon where I want to be able to work with this, right here, the scope of this would be from here down. So if I wanted to create a value of type person, P1, colon equal person, composite literal, I'd have first James, last Bond, date of birth, I don't know, 01, he's probably born on New Year's Eve, right? And he's probably like 32, which means he would have been born in about 10, 20, 7, 1985. Is that right? Yep, that's right. 1987, somewhere around there. Um, and then func dot print line p1. And we could also do dot first. this dot notation so here's our struct James Bond with each of the fields and we have James Bond and his date of birth when we access them each by dot notation so create the type person struct and so that you know, pretty sure this is right. I can only, this is the scope of this is from here to there, type person. So if I try to do this and create a type person here, I can't do that. It's already given me an error and it says undeclared name person because I'm outside the scope. And if I try to run this, it's no longer gonna run undefined person, right? 
So if I have that back here, that will run. All I did was move it below there. So the scope of type persons from here to there. If I wanted to have package level scope, I bring it up here outside of main and declare my type up there. And then inside a function, I create person. Okay. So why don't you all, and let me add a couple more things here. Fave num will be, uh, what would James Bond's favorite number be? Seven. And uh, that's going to be an int, sorry. And um, invincible, powerful, power, I don't know, like uh, what's, a, what's a bool we could do with bond? What is it? That's going to come up. Thank you. That's a very good one, but that's coming in a second. So favorite number and uh, a bool drinks. Bool, okay? And so we could add these here, and we could do fave num. And fave num would be seven. I just want to show that you could have different types, and drinks would be true. And I'm just going to do the map and slice examples down below so we can see that all more easily on one page. So you can kind of start to, you know, hold in your head these different data structures. We've got a slice, values of the same type. we got a map, key value. And now we have this thing, a struct, where we uh, have fields. We can, we can aggregate, compose together many values of different types, many values of different types. Okay, so that's, uh, let's, let's code up a, our first struct. 